Hello, my name is Aditya and I love to play Minecraft. I also enjoy modding it. This is the first video of the second part of the Minecraft tutorial series in which we will learn how to mod Minecraft. There is no official modding API from Mojang and we have been hearing word of it for a long time now and we don't know when it's going to be released. But in the meanwhile, there are many other ways in which you can mod Minecraft. For example, there is Bucket but that is primarily server side, so you can't build any single player mods. And there's also Forge, which is both server side and client side, and so we're going to use that. So let's find out how to get started with Minecraft Forge. First, you want to go to this URL here, and then you want to find the right version. They will be mostly listed in the promotion area where all the latest Forges are. So I'm using 1.6.2. So I'm going to look at recommended 1.6.2 and then look at the source and download that. There also are a bunch of other ones like the latest 1.6.2 with maybe a few other extra features and then there's the version of Forge and then Minecraft version and the time it was released. So if I hover over the source link it'll show me add fly slash a random number slash the actual link we want. So you want to copy the link with everything except for AdFly and the random number because AdFly is just annoying. So you download that, then you have to install it as per these instructions in this URL. It's basically the Minecraft Forge wiki. Now we can use many IDEs for using for modding with Forge. There's NetBeans which I really like, but we had some library issues with that so I couldn't do it. There's also Eclipse, which is the one we're going to be using. Forge also comes with a default Eclipse project, and that makes it a lot easier to get started. So let's start modding. I already have Eclipse open, so I'm going to go there. And now I'm going to import the Minecraft project. So I go to File, Import, and open up General, and I say Existing Projects into Workspace. Then I browse here, and here's the directory structure, so I'm in Forge 162 then MCP, then Eclipse, then I say open, and you can see it's, collect, it's collected the Minecraft project, and then I say finish, and here it's imported the Minecraft project. Now let's open up this project and see what's inside. This folder here is a source code folder, where all the source code is located in a bunch of different packages, and that's what we're going to be changing. Now let's run the Minecraft and see how it looks. You can click on this green arrow to run Minecraft and it'll start running it. So now I'm going to move this here, make it a bit bigger. Okay, you can see here's this new mods tab which shows three mods that are the ones we're going to be using to make more mods. So these are like the basic mods you always need. Also, you can look at the mods you have over here and the versions of MCP and Forge Minecraft Larger and also Minecraft Forge. So let's summarize what we learned today. We learned that Minecraft Forge can be used to create mods. We also learned how to open the project in Eclipse and how to run the Minecraft. Thanks for listening and happy Minecrafting and modding.